Have you ever looked at a diesel engine piston and thought, wait, why does it have a bowl shaped cut on top? It almost looks like someone carved out the center with a spoon. But if you check a petrol engine piston, it's flat, clean. No bowl, no dip. So what's going on here? Is this just a design choice? Or does it actually do something? Well, it turns out that little bowl in a diesel piston is doing a lot more work than you might imagine. Today, if we're going deep into the world of engine design, and trust me, by the end of this video, you'll never look at a piston the same way again. First, let's get the basics out of the way. In a petrol engine, the air and fuel are mixed together before they enter the cylinder. It's like a ready-made cocktail. The piston compresses that mixture and then a spark plug ignites it. Boom! Power stroke. And now in a diesel engine, things are a little more hardcore. It doesn't mix the fuel and air beforehand. It just sucks in plain air. It compresses it like crazy, I'm talking about compression ratios of 18 into 1 or even higher. And that heats the air up to insane temperatures. And, and then diesel is injected directly into the cylinder where it immediately ignites because of the high temperature and no spark plug just raw pressure and timing now here's where the bowl comes in that bowl or cut or cavity whatever you want to call it is not just for looks it's actually a built-in combustion chamber carved right into the piston head and it plays a huge role in making sure the engine runs efficiently smoothly and without turning into a smoke machine Here's what it does when that hot, compressed air is sitting in the cylinder, it's not just sitting still. But the shape of the piston bowl causes the air to swirl rapidly. So when diesel fuel is injected, and it enters a spinning tornado of hot air, that swirl helps mix the fuel and air perfectly right there in the bowl and in a matter of milliseconds. The super fast mixing is crucial because diesel fuel doesn't ignite all at once like petrol. It needs to mix, vaporize, and then burn. All in the blink of an eye, if the air and fuel don't mix properly, you get incomplete combustion. That means less power, more smoke, and wasted fuel. So that little bowl, it's a masterclass in fluid dynamics. It's designed to create the perfect turbulence, the perfect swirl, to get the best burn from every drop of diesel. On the other hand, the petrol engines don't need this. Since the air-fuel mixture is already blended before it enters the cylinder, and ignition is handled by a spark plug, there's no need to create that intense swirl inside the cylinder itself. And that's why petrol pistons are flat or sometimes slightly domed, just enough to maintain the compression ratio and flame speed. In fact, if you put a bowl in a petrol piston, it might actually mess things up. It can disrupt the flame front or create hot spots that cause knocking. So yeah, what works for diesel would be totally wrong for petrol. Now here's something else that's fascinating. A diesel piston bowls aren't one size fits all. Engineers design different bowl shapes depending on the engine's purpose. Uh, some are deep and toidal, others are re-entrant, each one tuned for airflow, emissions and performance. The goal, to get maximum combustion in minimum time, with minimum smoke. So next time you see a diesel piston with that, that deep bowl in the center, remember, that's not just a dent, it's a combustion lab, a sculpted with engineering precision, and petrol pistons, they're not missing anything. They're exactly what they need to be for an entirely different combustion method, two engines, two fuels, two combustion styles, and then two completely different piston designs, each perfectly matched to the science behind them. If you learned something new today, drop a like and share this video with a friend who's into engine tech. And if you're curious about other deep dive topics like turbochargers, piston cooling, or even engine weight balance hit that subscribe button because we've got more coming up right here on tech explorer 31 and thanks for watching and keep exploring the tech behind the machines